All right, this is a fun one. We're down at the Wings of Wonder Amphitheater. I'm here with Dustin, who's one of the bird trainers, and he's got a special guest, Ori. And you know, a lot of times people see the bird show or other behaviors at the zoo and they think, that's amazing, those animals just do that, but you have to get used to them, they have to get used to you, and even an owl needs a lot of training. So tell us a bit about him. Now, Ori is a really special story. I mean, he's a year old now, and it's taken a lot of training to get up to this point. Help so you came as an egg. Him. He came just All as right. an egg. It was just a little bit larger than a chicken egg. That is great. So hatched out, and they hand reared it, and for yeah, they got him started. Um, yeah, they got him started for us, and yeah, the birdhouse was an awesome process. It was really, really awesome to have them uh, help us with that because we didn't have a lot of experience with it. So. They got them started and going in the right direction, helped teach us what we needed to do, and then we took it from there. But because we raised him like this, he got really used to seeing us, really used to people, and then getting him out that first summer when he was younger, those first few months doing our Wings of Wonder Bird experience, he's done a great job with people, but now it's just really teaching him with that operant conditioning, that positive reinforcement training, telling him what he should do rather than what he can't do, right? Yeah. So we get him out here, and we're really showing him where to go, and then also if he gets lost, he gets really excited about a lot of different birds and all sorts of stuff here in the theater, but how to come home from that is the most important part, right? Yeah, so exactly. knowing where we are with those gloves, it's really uh, been a fun training process with him. Now, when you talk about positive rewards, what if he flies or does the behavior you want, he gets a mouse, or what do you get? Yeah, that's exactly right, Thing. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, we ask him usually to go to some platform, to either our glove, and then when he gets there, we like to call him Mises Pieces is the joke that we there always like go. to use. So he gets a little Mises Pieces, and that's let, lets him know that he's done the right thing. So um, he's done something we've asked, because we can't make him do anything he doesn't want to do. But if we ask and he does something we like, we give him lots of things he likes. So it's just operant conditioning. It works with everything, some birds, mammals, husbands, wives, children's exactly. pets. Yeah, you can use yeah. it at home, everyone. So Ori is obviously very used to Dustin, now used to other people. He flies some, but what's it take to train him to the point that he'll be able to fly in your show? Yeah, well, first of all, he's got to be capable. So we had to wait until he was the age that he was able to fly, right? We give him a big enough home and he can fly all over his home. Once we knew he was flighted, uh, we started getting him outside uh, in a safe way. So um, we put him on a creance to make sure that he doesn't get too scared. He, we're still teaching like him how leash. to fly. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Uh, it's a really, really long one. And it's make sure that he doesn't get too far away. He doesn't know how to fly completely on his own. And we don't want to go chase him around Avondale. That'd be tough, right? So just until we get confidence in him and he gets confidence in us, we'll, we'll train him to fly to certain areas. So we fly to anywhere around our theater. He gets used to seeing uh, all sorts of the wildlife that he loves to look at all the time out here uh, and get used to people and just helping him learn that these are the places you'd like to go and this is also where your home is. So he mm -hmm. always will come back. So we really just guide him in that right direction. Ori is our one-year-old Milky Eagle Owl. And owls have lots of really cool adaptations. But one of their specialties is silent flight. So you two down here are going to get an up-close look and how silent they are as they soar across the sky and hopefully right between you two. Great job, Ori. <laughs> now, he looks different than owls around here, and there are hundreds of owls around the world. Tell us a bit about the species he is. Yeah, so he's a, technically a Varose eagle owl, but they also get nicknamed Milky Eagle Owl, and it's because of those gorgeous pink eyelids that he has. They're the only species of owl that have no feathers on their eyelids, and they think that pinkish color matched with this gray uh, uh, tone that he has. It gives them a little bit of a milkyish color. Yeah. But they're from eastern and southern Africa, the largest uh, owl out there in Africa. And uh, yeah, he looks a little different than birds that you might yeah. see around here. He's still young, he's still a year old, but eventually, just like great horned owls that you'll see right here in the US, he does have horns. He's a yeah. part of the horn species yeah. of owls, but they're little ear tufts that they'll get on the top of their heads. It's not their ears. They'll have ears on the side of their heads, just like ours, but he will grow those ear tufts. It really helps them blend into their environment. So yeah. you see those tree trunks and stuff. And yeah. probably show off for a girlfriend, I bet. Oh, maybe, yes. Yeah, so you know, um, it's hard for people to tell a male owl from a female owl, but I'm betting he's male because in East Africa, I've seen rose eagle owls, man. They're, they're as big as that one you've got in the back. So, yeah, he's very, uh, very tiny. So yeah. uh, we think he's a boy, but we're not 100% sure. Two blood tests have gave us inconclusive, so yeah. he can be whatever he wants to be. <laughs> Only owls know for sure. Yeah. Well, Dustin, it's fun. So give us the details on the show. How many, which days, what times? Yeah, we do it Wednesday through Sunday at 1 and 3 o'clock, so we do it two times a day, Perfect. five days a week. And the most important part of all this is Ori going back home. 